start uh, just my thoughts and prayers uh, with Coach Smith's family because uh, college basketball lost not just a great coach but uh, a great man. I had the opportunity to, I think it was in 84, a long time ago, to compete against him. But uh, growing up in that era of um, the end of Coach Wooden's uh, coaching era and then Coach Smith and Coach Knight, uh, I had a chance to be around guys like that. And uh, I got a lot of friends from Buzz Peterson to Olympic teammate in Jordan to that uh, had nothing but incredible things to say about Coach Smith when we were together growing up playing this game. So it's a huge loss for college basketball. He meant an awful lot to the game and, uh, and what he represented and being able to kind of establish the Carolina way. So uh, just on kind of behalf of UCLA basketball, I want to make sure that uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to uh, his entire family. Any questions? How's Kavon's hip? It looked like he kind of... Great. You know, he took... Uh, I was really worried about it uh, when it happened, but uh, he bounced back really really quick, didn't have any issues the rest of the game, and uh, practiced hard yesterday, so no issues. What was the biggest difference you, from your perspective in those two games in San Bernardino? Well, they were, they were similar in a lot of ways. Um, you know, obviously we got bigger leads in the Stanford game, but... Um, you know, to have Stanford down 15 in one half and 22 in another half, that, that's that's a lot of good basketball that's been played. And and then they got hot the last eight minutes. They, they got hot and, and got going. And um, Cal kind of had a really good last four minutes. And, you know, that was the frustrating. We've been on the other end of it uh, to where we've had a better four minutes. Uh, but the home team got going. It was a great atmosphere. Cal had a tremendous atmosphere, the best uh, in our two years up there uh, that we've seen. So, And then I went up there with the New Mexico team as well. So the atmosphere was great. They got going. Um, they're hot. They're playing well. Um, but uh, the similarities were that, that I thought we played pretty well. You know, looking at the tape, our pace is better. Uh, we're screening and cutting and moving the ball much better. Defensively, we're contesting shots, which we really weren't doing three weeks ago. So I'm seeing young guys improve and mature, and they're having fun. They're playing with a little bit more spirit to them because they're a quiet group. Uh, and because of that, um, they're getting more success. And I think that's been, uh, that's been a good thing. You know, we would have obviously liked to got both of them, and we we're right there from getting both of them. Um, but it, it, when I looked at the tape, it's not technical stuff. You know, we missed whether it was key free throws or uh, those types of uh, there's not a whole lot of breakdowns. You know, the last shot that Tarwater hit was about as contested as you can contest a shot. You've got 6'9", Kavon Looney running at you, and he, he highly contested it. So uh, they made some plays that you got to make, and we made those plays that uh, you got to make against Stanford. So some similarities, but uh, won a close one, lost a tight one. This year and, and last, that second weekend game on, on the road has been especially difficult for you guys. Is that coincidence or is it something that that second game kind of get tired, wears you down a little You know, bit? I don't know. Um, you know, I think the teams are different. Um, uh, that, that one's a hard one. We haven't been able to, uh, we've changed things up. You know, one of the constants is we pretty much stay up. Um, we don't come back and forth. Um, so you're staying up there. Sometimes if it's Wednesday, Saturday, it gets to be long. But I think most of the trips so far this year have been Thursday, Saturdays for the most part. So they're not incredible long trips um, but you know the Oregon trip we, we didn't play particularly well in either one of them uh, and same thing with um, the Utah Colorado trip that being our first trip and different circumstances because of coming off three losses going into that game but uh, those that trip uh, this last trip I thought we played well in both games you know looking at uh, the film again I, there wasn't a lot that you know we, we've been over it with the guys but um, the effort the intensity the you know, the, the spirit of the way we want to play, we got that out of both games. So it's just not easy. You know, I, I think to get, a, to get, to get two wins on, in a road, you know, that I think probably takes some time. Last year's team, probably a little bit more experienced and capable of it, but in the first year of, of us as a staff kind of going through it and uh, traveling a little bit different. You know, I've never had travel partners at New Mexico or, or even Iowa, so it was different for us as a staff. So maybe that a little bit, trying to figure that out in the first year. Uh, this year, I think it's a little bit different for the team because it's it's the first trip for a lot of them uh, to these places. And if it's not their first trip, guys like Bryce and Norman and, and Tony, uh, they're in a totally different role uh, than what they were a year ago. So you know that makes some difference too. And then who you're playing, you know, I 
know, Stanford coming off a uh, loss. You got Cal coming off, I think, three wins in a row. Just different demeanors, different mindsets that uh, you get to play, and that has uh, that has its variables too. How much did the offense stall in the last two games? How much does that have to do with fatigue? Um, you know, again, again watching tape, I didn't see fatigue. You know, I, I really didn't. Now, if you ask me that, Oregon, Oregon State, Utah, Colorado, especially Utah and Colorado, absolutely. Um, we look like a tired basketball team when we were at Utah and at Colorado. There's no question. But on this trip, looking at it, you know, our, our pace was good. You know, I think part of that when you're young and inexperienced is who is going to take that last shot? Who is going to be the go-to guy? And, you know, we haven't had a lot of close games uh, up until the last several. So maybe that's the team trying to, you know, figure those things out. Um, uh, the trust within this team has been incredible um, of how they've really developed that over the last three weeks. So I've liked that. Um, and, and I like sometimes, you know, the ball moving. And the ball, I thought, moved well. We, didn't, we had low turnover games in both of them on the road. So it's kind of figuring out, okay, we've played for 35, 36 minutes. Now who's going to be the go-to guy? And maybe that's still in process. Maybe that's still, you know, Norman obviously is going to be at the forefront of that. Um, and, and he does a lot of good things for us, obviously. So uh, Tony inside is going to be that. Kavan can be that. Isaac and Bryce can be that. So we've got a lot of confidence in, in any of them doing it. But in the flow of the game, in tight games, who that guy's going to be, you know, I think the guys are still working through that. But I didn't see fatigue uh, in this road trip like I've seen in previous road trips. Is there a sense that you guys are kind of enter entering this final stretch and you can only lose a game or two in the regular season to, you know, stay in the hunt for the NCAA tournament? Uh, or is uh, that hasn't been talked about. You know, really, we've talked about it being, um, we've really talked about being a fun stretch to where, you know, we've gone through a very difficult stretch. Uh, we were real close to getting our third road win, which obviously would have put us in a tremendous shape uh, but now you got five out of seven we've been awfully good in this building we're getting ready to play two teams that had their way against us especially Oregon um, in the first go around so we've got two teams that beat us pretty good uh, in their building so we've got to return that favor and that's not going to be easy but we've been really good in this building and if we're if we can say consistent in this building we'll put ourselves in a chance we I think two weeks ago we were in the mid to upper 60s in RPI, now we're in the mid 40s. So we've done a lot of good work in the last two weeks to kind of set ourselves up in the last three week stretch. And there are a lot of teams throughout the country, you know, they're, they're waiting on conference tournaments to make it happen. Uh, we're three weeks to conclusion and we're still in the mix and we're still fighting and, and that's always exciting. So um, we're playing good basketball. We've won six out of seven uh, with Tony uh, in the lineup. Uh, he's playing at a high level, so hopefully we can have another good practice today and, and have a good week. We need a good week. This has got to be beating two teams that have beaten us, and that's not an easy thing to do. But if we can get it to a five-game schedule to where now we're eight and five, we've really put ourselves in a good shape. Even even with the loss this past weekend, is, is this as confident as you've been with the way the team is playing? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely right, because I really feel that. You know, I Looking at the tape again, I, I thought I'd see – you know, whether it was fatigue or, you know, a lot of bad turnovers or poor execution or, you know, a lot of things that you see out of young teams. But uh, I didn't see that in either game. You know, I thought Stanford, very, they're not so deep, but they got a lot of experience. And they gave us, uh, the last eight minutes, they gave us everything Stanford's got. And we withstood it. We, you know, we probably got a little caught, a little too cautious as a team. Um, and our guys learned from that. And I thought maybe less than two days later, um, we'd see a drop in energy or intensity, and we didn't. I thought we played even harder with even more intensity against Cal. And so those are really positive signs. And we're seeing guys, I think, being really confident now at both ends of the floor. So I think we're healthy, you know, for a team that's had to play a lot of minutes. I think we're seeing legs come back. And um, so all those things have been really positive. It's just, you know, the anxiousness now of playing two teams that beat us pretty good. We've got to find ways of correcting that going into the next two. The situation at the end of the Cal game, that, that last shot by Bryce, how much of that is, is something that you script and drill where there's a couple seconds left on the clock and a missed free throw maybe, and how much is it? Well, I've always been somebody that it, with that, with less time, mm -hmm. I, I like playing out of those situations. He's got a really good look. I yeah. mean, if you look at tape, he got a, he got a great look. If he'd been maybe a step closer, it'd been even better. But, you know, I thought we did a really good job of rebound, outlet, go. The defense doesn't get a set. Um, if you call, you know, again, you can do it a lot of different ways. 
but uh, I've always liked playing it out instead of calling a timeout. If we were even, if the game was even, maybe it's a little different. If it's an even score, possibly call a timeout just to make sure we don't turn the ball over. We maybe throw it to half court and call time. There's a lot of different things when you're even, but when you're behind, the last thing I want is the defense to get set. They can switch five ways. They think about fouling. You know, there's a lot of different things that come into play. So being down, if you're down, I like to go with it. And I thought we did a really good job with that. You got to get the free throw block out first. And you see a lot of teams lose on free throw block outs. So we got that. Uh, we got it to Bryce, and he did a really good job of pushing it. And I thought got a pretty good look at the end. It looked like on that play you might have had Isaac on the other end of the yeah, floor. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he really did. It's just you make that pass, you don't know if you get a shot off. You know, you've only got four less than five seconds to go. So absolutely. But if you're a player and you get an outlet and you know there's four seconds, uh, you got to go with it. And I think even if a pass was made, uh, probably Isaac's just getting a runner there or might not even get the shot off. So you definitely want to get a shot off. And I thought he created a really good shot and had a good look at it. Cool.